started. What'd you think? You, what was you, that? You take your fucking <laughs> I am God shit way too far, okay? Tell it to God, <laughs> okay? <laughs> You know, heaven's like Robbie. Try being God. Stop with the boys. Stop with the boys. Stop with the boys. The boys. Let's hear it for the boys. That's been the theme song for the show. No, they haven't. I'm a better. I'm smarter than they are. Season one, okay. Season two, bitching. Season See, three, fucking fuck. shitty. What do you want to talk about first? Which we which should we dissect first in our first? This is the first episode, mind you, of the the boys companion. Uh, all right, mm-hmm. Devil's Three Way. Devil's Three Way. You. Two soups. What are we doing? Uh, Robbie, it's Whole Lantern and Stormfront. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was, Obviously. Uh, we what are you talking season about? Three. I was thinking You're of Maeve. Like, I wanted maybe to Maeve. Maeve with someone. Yeah, I was. <gasps> maybe Maeve and uh, Frenchie. Yeah. Uh, that'd be fun. The two worst characters in the show. You know, I don't think Homelander is really a bad guy. You know what? I just had... I agree with you. I just had a fucking epiphany, though. I thought how annoying Frenchie was. Mm. Imagine if they had fucking Misha... A.K.A. Castiel play Frenchie. <laughs> yeah, I bet that show would have been. Frenchie's actually the best character in the show. Now I realize he's not played by Misha fucking whatever. Do you know how many things is we the, talked about last Misha week? Is Misha Barden a porn star or an actress from the 2000s? That's not his last name. No, Misha Barden is porn star, the OC right? chick. Oh, that's the chick from the OC? Who's the porn star named Misha something? I have no idea. Probably right, Misha Barden's the one from the OC. She's hot. Yeah, wasn't she? Yeah, whatever happened. That's going to be so depressing when you're like on a TV show. And you're like, God, my career's going to pan out and it doesn't. You know, especially in that situation, wasn't she like the lead? One of it's not like she was just. I think on a only TV her didn't pan years. off though, because like Adam Brody's doing stuff. I mean, you can't really say the guy the from, Gotham's from Gotham's Gotham doing Gotham stuff. Did, he did Gotham. What the fuck else has he done? Also, he sucks. He does suck. He's a terrible, terrible actor. Fucking terrible actor. Yeah, he looks like a moron too. Yeah, Gotham also terrible, 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 terrible show. show. You, fucking, I, dude, you two always just me that there's some dumb scene in it. Where they're like, you know, they're like, you know, how Smallville had a young Clark who was actually really charismatic. What if we have Batman and he's a total fucking idiot and he's like twelve years old and he's just a dickhead? I didn't even know Batman was in that show. There's a scene in that show where I think Catwoman maybe or someone for some reason the Penguin is having like an auction because so that's what he does, knows. I guess. That's what he does? So he's like having an auction and Catwoman or Batgirl or some dumb bitch from the DCU is like. I'll buy that for a million. No, no, she's like, I'll buy it for 200,000. And then Bruce Wayne's like, 200,000 and one penny. And then the guy's like, "Uh, sir, we're having the increments raised in (laughs) 10,000. 10,000 pennies. No, no, no. And then she's like, hmm, 300,000. She's like, ups herself. And he's like, 300,000 and one penny. (laughs) No, Bruce, it doesn't work that way. And then she's like, 400,000. She's like, 400. And she's again, she's just jumping up 100,000 every time. He's he's jumping up by a penny. And this woman is jumping up by 100,000. Which is unnecessary. Bidding works. She's not bidding herself. Which is unnecessary because as the rules explicitly state, it can't be. And then she's like, 500. He's like, 500,000 and one penny. And then she's like, a million and everyone's like oh gosh fuck she said a million and a Bruce million? And, no, no, no. <laughs> and then Bruce is like ah yes I could say that'd be a lot for someone like you one million dollars and one penny and then he like then she says something else and she goes like one point when he jumps up to like five million and buys it and he's like yes I'm very rich and like that's the scene and Penguin's like oh yeah sold sold it's right. from The Walking Dead, full circle. Yeah, it says I can't uh, distinguish reality from the bullshit you create yeah was any of that real yeah, that's I'll actually a right scene. now. Oh, that's that's actually a scene. Yes. <clears throat> um, you have your headphones or no? No. You can have my headphones. I'll play it through the fucking thing so everyone can. I'll, 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 I'll be professional. All right. While you're doing this, I'm gonna keep talking about the boys. One th- one million and one penny. No, no, never mind. You can do that cute thing you do. Where you just don't shut the fuck one up. One million. Gotham auction. God, you're even louder in here. It's annoying. Yeah, fuck. Like you're get fucked, fucking idiot. Skull. Get out of here! You hear it? No. No, I don't hear anything. And one dollar. Oh, wow. Actually, this is really way the bidding amounts are in fifty thousand. Two hundred thousand. Fine, we have two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand and one dollar. This is like the definition of <laughs> asshole spoiled body. I know. Look at his dumb fucking face. This kid's the biggest douchebag in the world. Dude, this kid is the kind of guy who how goes out on a beta. I don't know. I thought a while ago. Oh, you mentioned how hot she is. No, I don't even know what that is. No, back off. You little brat. She's right. Wow. This is mean. It's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for someone like you. For someone like you. Two million. Two hundred thousand. 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 Two hundred th
Two million and one Betty. Two sold to Mr. Bruce Wayne. A hundred thousand dollars. So fucked up. It's a idiot. I don't know, man. I used to like that guy until he came I used to too. He was in The Walking Dead in Gotham. Yeah. What's his name? Arden Dumlin Dumfee, sir. Some weird really name accepted. Yeah. <clears throat> you think I'm going to go to IMDb? I'm going to waste my time looking up someone who says ADD. I can't believe that's actually this. And, and also, you didn't exaggerate on the fact that that kid's whining the entire time. I know. Time. I, was doing, I thought I was doing a pretty good impression. That's fucking beyond. I had the scary. numbers wrong, but I got the I got the general idea of it right. No, you actually got the numbers right. Abernathy Darwin Dunlap, sir. I was close. I said ADD. something dumb. On account of that, I also have ADD. Yeah, his name is his, his real name's even dumber than Abernathy da Darwin Dunlap. His real name is Robin Lord Taylor. So he's got two f women's names and then a title. He's from Iowa. Also, the redhead from that was just in Sarah forgetting Sarah Marshall. No, what was she in? Well, we just watched her in something. Arrested Development, probably. Oh yeah, she was in Arrested Development for some reason. I like that chick. She's not in enough stuff. She also knows who can't on. True TV when they tried doing scripted shows for a minute and they had like uh, yeah, yeah. TJ Miller like hey I'm his cousin that show was actually kind of funny it might have been what the fuck oh um um fucking Sarah Michelle Gellar was in an episode and I'm almost certain her character was named Gwen it was Gwen, it was Gwen Stacy I think that sounds like another character though isn't it's that a character fucking, from Spider Man yes yeah she was Gwen something whatever the fuck it was who's this it was, who? oh no, no, it was it was Gwen Michelle Gellar fine and then, say it and then she was gonna say, say it is Gwen Michelle Geller. Okay? Who was playing that part? Sarah Michelle Geller was playing Gwen Michelle Geller. <laughs> and with the main guy who had the sleeve of tattoos for some fucking reason. They were Whoa, arguing. I'm sorry. Yo. Sarah Michelle Geller, I just realized did my boy she didn't take she didn't take Prince. She could have been Sarah Michelle Geller Prince Jr. Because <laughs> I think the junior's a part of his last name. Yeah, obviously. So she could have been Michelle. Sarah Michelle Geller Prince Jr. She could have been three hyphens. It could have been Sarah Michelle hyphen comma hyphen geller hyphen prince jr. That would have been pretty cool. She should have hyphened her last name. And then she's SMGJ. She's SMGPJ. So it's pretty awesome. So he didn't like her in school. And then he says, no, don't speak, Gwen. I know just don't what you're speak. thinking. Uh, it's just really what you're funny, thinking. though. Nah, 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 nah. That show was actually kind of funny. I forgot all about that show. That show actually was not that funny. It was just okay. <clears throat> um... So it was actually kind of funny. I didn't say it was this phenomenal fucking show that got canceled way too soon. I that's actually what I heard. Though. We should play the back of the tape. That's actually exactly what I heard about that. <laughs> oh my god! Remember that person I was mentioning to you? Here's another. I just scrolled. Remember that person I mentioned who? I don't watch the person. Now I'm thinking of that scene in fucking Desperate Housewives where he's like, "Wait, you said it hooked up with people." Most straight men say women. Why do you say people? Yeah. Now so now we're listening. It's like, oh my that, god, yeah. he's gay. <clears throat> Cat's out of the bag. Then this girl messaged me. Remember that girl I mentioned who was like, delete. Add, delete, add, delete, add, delete, add, delete, add. The psycho? Yeah. Yeah. Messaged me. It's pretty hot. A meme. Um, that is alpha. That is I, was like, I, know, I, dude, I was like, that's actually badass as fuck. I, I just put, it, put, put all the weirdness aside, ignore yeah. all of it, pretend nothing happens, and just say, hey, here's a funny meme. I was like, respect. She's probably just on her period. Yeah, some probably. It was a Brennan Fraser <laughs> meme, too. Oh, God. Does she, does she know? About my love for Brennan Fraser? Does she know? I think anyone who knows me knows my love for Brendan Fraser. Oh, so she knows. Yeah. She knows. She knows. Here's another note. I want to buy a funeral home. It's a note for a conversation, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> it's cool how instead of even remotely trying to partake in any conversation I could possibly conjure up. What dumb thing did you say I'm supposed to respond to? Like, I tried to with say? the boys a hundred times. The boys. We about the boys. The devil's We're not even filming the boys podcast and right now. Like, we're filming you, our podcast. No, this was supposed to be you said next episode. Of the boys podcast. Is this the boys podcast we're filming? In the or, last are, we, episode, are we wearing our said, superhero suits? God damn. Are you wearing your starlight outfit? Dude, seriously? Maybe Am I we, wearing? Maybe we should do a Boys Companion podcast and buy outfits from the show. Yeah. We'll just do the... That sounds like fucking fun. It doesn't, actually. I think Homeland is... It sounds fun. Like, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It'd be fun. You know what would be cool? Here's what we do. Here's what we do. We do start a Boys podcast, mm. but we're like the most nauseatingly disgusting... Uh, I love it. I love it. It's all so good. It's all so good. And we're just praising the shit. Like, that's genius. Get yeah. such a following. Like, I don't know. Let's say we have 300,000 followers on there. We get Eric Kripke on, mm. and then we turn the tables. And we just start tearing apart the show. <laughs> we start tearing apart the show. He's like, cause, <laughs> you know, like, um, you didn't watch it, but when Louis C.K. went on to Theo Vaughn's podcast, mm. he was saying, like, I didn't really know much about it. Kind of like, you know, like, you know, I already agreed to be on the show, but I wanted to 
learn a little bit more. So last time before I went to bed, I was like watching some clips on YouTube, seeing some of your stand up, just listening to some stuff. Is what Theo Vaughn said to No, Louis that's what Louis C.K. said to Theo when he went on his sure. podcast. Sure. I'm just, well, I want to like check out a little bit. Uh, so picture this, right? Eric that's Kripke. Nice of him, actually. Eric Kripke, he's like, yeah, I'll go on a boys podcast. That'd be fun. He's <clears> watching the clips, like the most viewed clips. Like, these guys love the show. Yeah, we got to make sure we don't go too far. Like, these guys are a little. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. But then we come on, I'm like, so, um. The fuck were you thinking? Yeah, why didn't. Why did season two just be you just going to season three on your own? Why why didn't the butcher get permanent powers? Why didn't you actually kill Maeve? The story you just told us, guys, is that Maeve, spoiler alert, I guess, decides she doesn't want to have her powers anymore. That's her big arc in season three. She doesn't want to have power anymore. She's sick of it. She's done. Right? She's finished. And then she decides she's gonna sacrifice herself by tackling Soldier Boy out a window and lose her powers. He better fucking be like Hold the on. main character. Next Hold year. on. So her big grand sacrifice, which I thought was over her life, well, she didn't die. Which means her sacrifice was to lose her powers, which is what she wanted to do. Which, which how means, did she die? which exactly, she lost her powers from the explosion. Why wouldn't she land it in one splat? And everybody else lost their powers. Was incinerated, and they weren't touching him. She was on top of the spot that shoots the fucking beam. Maybe that was the thing. You know what? The power of hotness. Yeah. prevailed. That was it. She's too hot. To she's get too hot. Even though she's actually not. She's actually not, she's not all that. But no, she's pretty cute. The point was, Robbie. Okay, since you're talking about having conversations. See, now I talk about the boys. You're like, oh, I'm going to talk about how hot the actresses. That's, that's the is conversation the for boys? the boys. It's, a part, it's about the boys. The, 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 the show has it where she has a big grand sacrifice. And in the apparent corner of the show, they don't know what sacrifice means. Because <laughs> sacrifice usually means you sacrifice something, not get everything you fucking wanted. She didn't want to have her powers anymore. Her big grand sacrifice, she doesn't have her powers anymore. Wow. What an honorable hero we have there. Yeah. And then on top of that, too, her fucking, what was the name? Elena? Was that her girlfriend's name? Something like that. That chick is not ride or die. That chick's a bitch. That chick is a bitch. She's like, mm, I don't want to be with you. Things are too hard. And the second she's human, and then she gets, and the second she gets what she wants, she's like, I'll make the sacrifice and come back to you. Yeah, they don't get a sacrifice. Please. And it's like, so you're gonna tell me Maeve's gonna go live happily ever after with Elena, who was you know the whole at the worst of times and the best of times. Elena's clearly only at the best of times kind of girl. Yeah. And Maeve's got no self respect. What a bad fucking shit. what a bad message to send out there to people saying that, okay, um, if someone doesn't love you when you're at your worst, you should take them back when it's easy for them to love you again. I mean it's really the only way to be happy. It's fucking despicable. And also even though like I, uh, what really was the point of all uh, the, I feel like the first few seasons was like them like ramping up to kill and say, like, Oh, they got Soldier Boy, they're gonna kill Homeland, and then they just didn't and they also didn't kill Soldier Boy and they just didn't nothing really happened. Yeah, season three is kind of like a pfft, whatever. It built up to it's like yeah, it's like you fucking yeah, exactly. It's like as if fucking uh, you come before you actually get to put it in someone. That's what ha- that's what the movie that's what the season was. It's premature ejaculation. Fucking and how stupid is it that I'm gonna say the the, the dumber part last. I want to build up the right way. You're like I'm gonna say it. It's <laughs> beep. Like at least dump beep. How dumb is it that Elizabeth shoes a main character in season yeah, one? Yeah, then she goes ahead and she fl- <laughs> and then she comes and back. And the next thing you know, it's beep. <laughs> and like you know what? Beep on Amazon. And you know another thing, Eric Kripke. What kind of a motherfucking beep would do that on a show for three? Beep! You old horny slut. Exactly. You old horny slut. I'm really getting good at those references, Russell yeah, Man. That one you did yesterday when we were watching Ozark and you were like into the bat into the wet into the Fuck badlands it's okay. again. Ozark into the he's wetlands. He's looking for Wendy and he goes out of the car and he, she, he sees she's her like van, in a field, yeah. And he's looking out and he calls her name. And the same thing happens rest of the development where Lindsay says she needs a ride. And he goes he goes, Lindsay, you know, she's probably gonna be well, the, I'm tired of looking. The difference of that was I don't think Lindsay was kidnapped like uh Wendy was. So I mean it's so funny that I referenced it. Yeah, it really was. Best, that's probably the best reference I've ever made. I'm still pissed. I finished Ozark and I'm I, the whole time I was watching, I kept thinking at every turn, like, oh, we're gonna meet Ruth's father. It's oh, gonna be Will Arnett. And then for a second, I'm like, oh, Widow's Peak, black hair, could be Will Arnett, and some random asshole who talks like, oh, we got to find Marty's money still. It's just some garbling, garble, garble moron. Mm-hmm. How dumb is it that Storm fronts in the second two episodes of season three just to jerk him off and die? Oh, uh, no. Just, she's she's no, 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 no. She's in the first episode to jerk him off. Oh, yeah, and then she just blanks the second And then she's in the one. second episode to die. <laughs> yeah. It was, the only thing that was cool about her storyline was when she Anakin, Sky, Anakin Skywalker. It was sick how she started just speaking fucking German. That was so cool. When she Anakin Skywalker. When she got Anakin Skywalker, I said. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. I hate you. I hate you. That or the fact when they were like, "Hey, you know, be really topical and funny. What if we have it where we say, what if we have it where she bit her own tongue off to choke on her own blood, and then we can have one of the characters be like, "Wow, she million dollar babied herself. <laughs> Dude, why didn't she heal?" 
Such a fucking stupid outcome. I don't know, man. I don't understand how that's like Homelander was like incinerating her titties and then this fucking stupid little kid blinks and she's fucking incinerated. And also, it's like, give her more... Ca- At that point, it's like, this, this is not about the show. The show is just stupid. It's like, when, when Billy found out that he has 11 months to live, or whatever they said, and he starts randomly smoking American Spirits Yellow, <laughs> when that just happens arbitrarily, and, and, and the doctor's like, uh, very good. And he goes ahead. It's like, if you have 11 months to live because you took temporary super stuff... And you realize that, oh, so when I'm a superhero, I'm goddamn invincible. My body my body handles it pretty well. Yeah. Why not do the Hail Mary and just take the full things? In season one, Homelander said that when they were giving compound V to everyone, to adults, some of them just fucking exploded. Some of them just died. Some of them, some of them it took. Yeah, and it obviously took a little bit if he was having the 24-hour one working. So it's like, why don't you just say, all right, 11 months to live left? Fuck it. Let me just try to take a full dose of I thought the whole other season was going to go, like, oh, no, he he takes it one more time. He's dying now. I'll give him a full dose. And then he, he would be like, we have to, please. And, and so I would be like, we can't, like, dude, it's too no, dangerous. he's a scumbag. He turns back to us. And he was like, no, it's a really good part of Exactly. And then French is like, uh, what, uh, what, uh, you took me to the lab and I could make that as a bonjour. And then Kimiko did. Yeah. That's a really good Kimiko impression, actually. How <laughs> funny. And she's like, uh, they uh, make the uh, lab with the uh, compound V for the Billy the Butcher. Oh, we, we. And it's like, interesting, guys. Interesting that you cast a guy from Israel to be a Frenchman. I mean, I think that's, that's you know, you know, you know what I remember saying that Bradley Cooper was Jew-facing? Because somehow the term Jew-face isn't derogatory, <laughs> according to, the, to, to, to Joe Biden's America. The term Jew-face is somehow not a derogatory term. But you can't say, beep. Yeah, but can't, but, yeah, so I can't say, <laughs> but I can say Jew face whenever I want. Because apparently, according say, to the New York Post, that's fine. <laughs> Bradley Cooper, Jew faced. It's like, whoa. First off, it's Bradley Cooper. Come on. It's not a stretch. Second of all, why would you cast an Israeli to be a Frenchman? That's French facing. That's frog facing. <laughs> You're going to frog face now? I'm a competition on change.org. I'm going to get Frenchy removed from the show for frog facing. <clears throat> Rightfully so. Rightfully so. And Everyone also, knows that what acting comes down to is not acting, it's being it. So if you're playing a movie of a murderer, you can't do it unless you've killed someone. All right? If you're playing a racist, you got to be racist. If you're playing a pirate from the 17th century, you got to be a pirate from the 17th century. I here's the thing. Here's Billy the fucking thing, bro. He's playing an Englishman, he's but he's, he's not he's English. Kiwi. He's Kiwi-facing. Let's get rid of him. So what, 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 what's, a, what's, a, what's a derogatory term for British people? I don't actually know what a term would be. I can think of, you know, all the obvious fucking stereotypical insults, but I can't think of an actual term. Yeah. White Pussy. White wit, yeah. Pussy. Good one. Just a <laughs> fucking loser. Oh, twat, yeah. Yeah, total fucking losers. Why is he loser-facing? Yeah, why, exactly. <laughs> why is uh, Why is Carl Urban loser-facing? <laughs> I, I, I wanted to just pull out. Oh, no, you know what it is? No, it's beep face. Yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, why is Carl Urban beep facing? You yeah, know? but but Jew facing's allowed. Yeah, and I don't French get that at all. Face, I don't understand. The Huffington okay. Post is posting an article where it says Jew face, and everyone's like, "Yep, this is okay." It's just the kind of fucked up world we live in. Because if you if you if you hold a gun to my fucking, you put a gun to my mouth, and I have to talk around. I'm like, Aah! it's my fucking mouth. I'm gagging on it, choking. You're like, who said Jew face? Hitler or the Huffington Post? I'm like, Hitler said it. I'm like, you fucking <laughs> idiot. It was the Huffington Post who said it. It was the Washington Times. Speaking of Hitler, dude, listen to Hardcore History today. The supernova in the East, yeah. so fucking cool. First off, you talking about the the stuff yesterday, I think. About what? About the uh, the Japanese guys just like thinking it was World War II until the late 80s yeah. or some shit. Did you know that was the episode was about, or you just having time with that yesterday? Dude, you mentioned to me like eight way. hours later that you were going to listen to the supernova in the East. I know that. That was just coincidence that that worked out that way. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, the guy was talking like, about like 1960-something. Yeah. You know how yesterday I told you confused me because he just wasn't ever getting to the topic and like, oh, he, had the, he was trying to give me all the backstory yeah. and shit. Then today mm-hmm. I was able to focus because I finally understood this, the, the fucking forms. I'm an idiot. Mm-hmm. Fucking, he starts talking about that and he just immediately goes all the way to the days of yesteryear before World War One. I'm like, yeah, you know what he's doing? Yeah, I he's can gonna follow gonna this now. Back around. He's going to loop right great. back to this guy and show it. It's awesome. Also, Japan fucking kicked some ass for a while. Those well, guys were fucking insane. Here's keep talking. Here's proof those of Japan. Beeps. Yeah, those beeps. Because I can't say any of those slurs. Yeah, I know. No, they were insane. And it's crazy. All this shit that China's pulling and that, that we have to deal with nowadays. There Dude. was almost no China at one point, and all the nations stopped it. Imagine if they didn't stop it. The kind of world would be today. Imagine if it was mostly Japan over there and not much of China. I think it's pronounced Nanjing. I don't know. Sounds about right. But in December 37, December of 1937 through January of 1930, so about a solid two months, uh. that was when the rape 
of Nanjing happened where the Japanese took over that Chinese land. And it's like, yeah, you have to be pretty badass if your war, if your attack is historically referred to as the raping of a city. It was so insane learning That's about insanity. this history of this country today. They're fucking insane. He was saying how because they were so isolated, yeah, isolationism. They missed out on, on everything, on the Enlightenment, yep. the fucking Industrial Revolution, and I forget the third. I'm pretty positive. Didn't the isolation start because the China kept fucking them? I think China kept screwing them over or something like that, or someone did. And then that's why they decided to be isolationists. Yeah, that's. And yeah. Then, they, then they decided we should probably have a we, should, we we needed we needed to you know industrialize a little bit. But, but it took everybody else 800 years. He was saying they did like 30, they were doing I know. like 40 fucking years. It's insane. And they almost took over China. Yeah, it's fucking insane. And they had North Korea and South twice. Korea. They almost did it twice. <sighs> yeah, go Japan. Japanese are fucking sick, dude. Japan, if you ever feel like doing it a third time, yeah. you have my fucking full support. I know, man. Honestly, it's it, Germany can't be the only country to start world wars. Also, you go to an Asian place, Japanese food's way better than Chinese food, dude. Without doubt, everything Japanese cuisine is better than Chinese cuisine. Yeah. I, uh, I'm a big fan of the Japs. Yeah, man. That's a slur. <laughs> I know. I can say Jew face. I don't know if I can say that one. Yeah, so that I was one just is. testing the water. Yeah. After all that they love and admiration, I think that might be okay with me saying it. I was, I was testing the waters. Yeah. South no, Korea is cool. I can't wait to listen to part two tomorrow. North Korea, not as cool. And I feel so intelligent for having retained all that knowledge. Yeah. Today. Yeah, yeah. Tank Khan's the shit, man. Really fucking is. Tank I'm Khan so really is. The more of your shit. Thanks to Shane Gillis. Yeah, thank you, Shane Gillis. Thank you, Shaney. Thanks, Gilly. <sighs> Got another minute. One more minute, Everybody and we'll probably record order. another episode after this one, too. We'll record another after this one? I don't want to, but we got to do what we got to do. Do we do. I don't even know these last episodes have even been good, honestly. They might be too relaxed and laid back. No, they're, they're good. I think it's a happy medium. No. You're you're really fucking obnoxious, actually. How about you stop this one? I can tell you how obnoxious prick How about you tell me? How, you don't, how, about you, how about you air out our dirty laundry on the cast? Yeah, for the next episode. We'll flip uh, those next 20 minutes. I can't fight, I can't fight with that kind of logic.